Hi. With the new release of CCS 9.3, one of the important aspects that was upgraded was the well-known TI Resource Explorer. Once you open, uh, you'll notice that it is radically different than CCS 9.2 and prior versions. It basically opens up the new version uh, 4 of TI Resource Explorer already available at uh, dev.ti.com. This new version comes with a, a range of uh, new usability features for browsing the examples and, uh, and the device information that you're looking for, device and boards, of course. Uh, so basically that's the main screen that it shows up with the already known tree for development tool information, for device documentation in general, and for software, which is the main topic of this functionality uh, updates. Basically, whenever you open your new uh, software branch, you see at a quick glance a difference, which is a nicely I nice icon is very visible that shows whatever whatever is installed locally, or in the in the darker ones, whatever is installed locally but only partially. Typically, for instance, this is common whenever a simple link, for instance, Academy is not installed together with an SDK package. That's a very common scenario. Another detail, important detail that you're going to see are those tiny little three dots here that an allow uh, navigating, actually performing a, a, a additional functions such as an installing a specific package or changing version easily of a specific package, adding a version meaning installing a new version, uh, or hiding specific versions that are already pre-selected. So, for instance, you have here additional versions that you don't have installed for instance because the icon the checkbox icon is 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 not is missing and also there's an asterisk that says it's not the latest version that you may review if you want to if you want to uh, browse it or actually use it you may review a newer version other packages for instance they show up as not installed but you can always take a look at your previous version that is already installed and of course with the asterisk which says that it's not the latest version and in this case of course it's partially installed because the Simple Link Academy was not installed together with this particular version of the SDK evidently that you can simply add the latest version and it will proceed with the install by downloading the entire package just like in the regular uh, TI Resource Explorer uh, version 3 an additional detail uh, that is very interesting uh, is that it actually memorizes, saves the context of whatever you've been doing, even if you add or remove versions. Uh, for instance, if you are in a um, in a specific example for CC 13X, 1352, for instance, in my board here, you can this context can be saved if you go to the three bar menu and keep this option uh, open I mean turned on you go back and the, the project or the, the, the branch open it is, is saved which is very convenient whenever you actually need to restart CCS or do something else the status is preserved of course prior functionalities such as opening a file and, and browsing it it's they are still present just like the new opening a uh, new tab option here it's useful the open a new tab option is very useful to actually drag this screen to another drag the view to another screen so you can compare code and whatnot this, options, uh, this option is also available in front of each file on the three dot menu. An additional detail that is very powerful uh, are the, is the capability of adding uh, filters. So obviously you the prior version has uh, advanced filtering per device. You can see here that I have filter by CC1352 and the filter sh is shown here uh, very conveniently. The, the difference now is that you can also use the all filters uh, menu to type in your keywords or a specific select a specific board by name or even select the type of content you want to show. If I wanted to show only examples that use TI RTOS 
and the CCS, uh, the TI provided compiler, you can simply do that. And then you have all the future selections in here. If you open another branch, for example, you only see the information that belongs, that has the, the TIRTOS CCS compiler uh, visible. You can easily remove a, a, single, uh, a single filter input and then you have different options visible as well. Or rather you can simply uh, remove everything and you go back to the previous option. Also, at every project indicated by the uh, by the small CCS cube, you obviously can, just like in the previous version, import to the ID, either from the three dots menu or from uh, the small icon uh, at the top here. This makes it uh, very convenient. Also, you can notice there's the icons are much more visible, just to differentiate the type uh, of a file that is actually present. In the three bar menu as well, you can also use the package manager to manage all your all your packages and by hiding and selecting versions, just like you could do in the three dot context menu. Additional options are the take a tour, which is, gives some uh, some brief overview of the functionalities that I'm covering here, and the about, which shows the version of the TI Resource Explorer. So. If you import a project, the, op the option, the operation is identical as before. It simply adds the project uh, to your environment. So, just one additional feature, one last feature that is very interesting uh, for browsing is that you have a history, like a like a regular web browser, of a files opened that you actually and including the filters that you added or removed so you can actually browse back and forth with with the options that you pre previously selected and especially for documents you can also hide the left tree so you can actually have the full screen to read uh, your documentation also by clicking on the big TI Resource Explorer title here it brings you back to the main page and you can restore the left menu naturally. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview about the new TI Resource Explorer and happy coding. See you next time.